Treasure Mountain presents Back Roads with Ron and Raven. Gander Mountain, we live outdoors. Hi everybody, Raven and I welcome you to another edition of Back Roads as we bring you stories about art in the outdoors. Beginning with, a, well, an unusual story about a boat. Not any ordinary boat, a drift boat. If ever there was a boat with a perfect name, this might be it, the drift boat. A boat unfettered by the things that bother lesser craft, rivers so swift, and rocks just to wait. Once exclusively found on the West Coast, drift boats now have new admirers in strange places. I don't think there's any other way to fish these guys. These, these bigger Midwestern rivers are absolutely perfect for drift boats. Stable, you can carry everything. They float in a mud puddle just about. Just an enjoyable way to go down the river. Bart Landweir is a Wisconsin fishing guy family pursuit he shares with other land weirs, Tim and Sarah and Jerry. It's different. It's really different when you first start to row one because it's like a rowboat backwards. In other words, drift boats do on rivers what most boats can't. Just that maneuverability. I mean, you can stop these things on a dime in heavy currents. You can cross back and forth in heavy currents without moving downstream at all. More of a western uh, starting to become more popular here. Popular for a few good reasons. All of them called smallmouth bass. Just really nice fat fish. Just really pretty stuff. Nice looking fish, buddy. There we, go. we had a lot of enjoyment out west guiding people and, and decided why not carry that back over to Wisconsin and go after some of the species that we grew up on. See if we can't smack that. A former Montana guide and now the owner of Tightline's Fly Fishing Company in Green Bay, Wisconsin, Tim is a believer in drift boats and the challenges of casting barbless hooks. There he is. Ooh, oh, pike. That was, pike. that was a five and a half dollar cast right there. A Porky's pet. A big red, white, and black deer hair popper. There he is. Nice take. Gone. I think I'm horsing them a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you're better than this, man. <laughs> Northeastern Wisconsin, most people don't realize, it does have some of the finest river smallmouth fishing in the country. And uh, it's right in our backyard. There he is. Nice. That's the bronze right there. All right, I'm going to bring him right up here, Tim. Here it comes. Pretty little fish. Anything that tugs on the end of my line is good enough for me. I'm quite fond of the smallmouth bass. Um, it really, as far as a fishery, it's, I don't think it gets a, a, enough of a, a fair shake. Nice. But you know, as far as a, a, an opponent on a fly rod, it's just a wonderful fish. Wisconsin smallmouth rivers also have another asset, uncrowded fishing and shore lunches were the only noise. They're totally done. I'm just melting the cheese. Is natural. Oh, it's, it's about as much fun as you can have, uh, and especially the way that we do it. So it's a very unique experience with the drift boats. Oh, I, I love it. Yeah, this is what I love to do. 